Edward, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This is Papa, and we are the RC Sailors. I hope you guys had a good Christmas, a very Merry Christmas, or whatever holiday you were celebrating with your family. I hope it was a good one. I hope you got to sit down and have some good food with everybody. Uh, we have been having a little bit of fun after opening up all these crazy presents and getting paper and just, you know, little bits of trash and stuff everywhere. We needed another robot sweeper. And so, Popeye has gotten a ton of toys yeah. and so he successfully ruined everything. Yeah. His toys are everywhere, little bits and pieces of the stuffing and string and just yeah. everything. So our uh, robot sweepers do a good job at cleaning up after mm -hmm. us. This Oop. is our third robot sweeper on the Number channel. Three. So now I feel like we're getting to the point where we can start like comparing, comparing and telling you, well, we like this one better because blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. So sweeper number three, uh, there are some pros and cons to this versus the other two that we own. And By the way, some new features. The other two, if you haven't seen them on our channel, were impressive. We liked both mm -hmm. of them a lot. So this uh, is the X. S H U A I T three seventy robot vacuum. Now we'll have a link in the description box below so you guys can actually click it and check it out yourself. When we picked ours up, it was yep. around two hundred twenty, two hundred thirty dollars. Yep. So I have tested this for about a week now, and I've kept the wrapping on it. And now this one does a couple cool things that the others don't do. This one has a water tank on it, which is probably the biggest Different. difference. Well, I don't know. That There's some other things There's too. There's another thing. Uh, but I think that's the biggest like physical difference. When you're looking at it, implementing water to an electronic device, that's a pretty big yes. difference. And so. this is our first experience with the water tank. Yes. And honestly, we'll talk it about it. We'll talk kind about of, it. We're going to talk about it right now. We'll talk about it right now. <laughs> it kind of let us down. That was one of the biggest downfalls to this sweeper. It's nice that the water tank, which is right here in the front, it's it's nice that it comes off. Um, it does. It's but optional. It, it like doesn't really work. Uh -huh. Like it never really got wet. Our floor never like it never like mopped it. No, I didn't think so. It never even like was even comparable to like a Swifter where you can like do some spray. Like it wasn't even close. I think it's just a Swiffer. Swiffer. Yeah. Swiffer, anyway, Swiffer. so what this does, <laughs> you fill up the reservoir on the back that comes off of the sweeper, and it doesn't hold a lot of water. But what it's supposed to do is have a very slow trickle to trickle into the little mop thing. The type of cloth, it looks like a washcloth, uh, the type of thing that goes on one of those Swiffer mops. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what that is. And it's supposed to slowly drip on the front part, dampening it, while the back part of that mop keeps it dry as it goes around. Now there's nothing keeping it in your kitchen, so right. what we there did... There's a down... The downside to this sweeper is there's no invisible wall. Right. Like the last one I did, which right. I love the, the invisible, invisible wall. The invisible wall is nice. So our kitchen has two entryways, so I had to sit at one and yeah. Nathan had to sit at the other. And we watched it and go we watched for it. a half hour. Yeah. And, and it's fun. It's mesmerizing to watch, <laughs> even when parts of it aren't doing what you thought it would. Now, but for us, because we have the... Our kitchen is the linoleum and then we have carpet directly out of that, yeah. like we would have to set up barricades. Yeah. We were gonna leave it running. Yes, uh, and you know I'd probably rather just have it on the dry setting with the beater bars. Yeah. Um, well, this little, one doesn't have beater bars. Uh, the little bristles. I'd rather yeah. have it just run in the kitchen and pick up the loose stuff. And then just mop with a swif yeah. Swiffer. Yeah, that's just me though. <laughs> so, so as far as the water feature goes, I say it's no good on this one. Right. It's something that you could just uh, nix when you get it, unless you have all hardwood floors. But even if you did. I still say just go with the dry setting because then you don't have to deal with uh, filling up the tank and stuff. You know, It'll just say pass on the water feature. Now this one does come with these little bristles that you put on the bottom that spin to kind of collect the dust in front of it and job. then it suctions it up into it. Now the other two vacuums which were the iLife a4 and the iLife A6 vacuum Very good. cleaners, they Very both good. have like beer bars, like kind of like your vacuum super. that are running and it actually is exposed so it does a really good job of picking up my hair because yeah. my hair is everywhere yeah. uh, this one doesn't have that it only has like a little suction feature so it's only gonna get the debris and a little bit of dirt yeah it has a little rubber seal at the bottom of it that kind of helps 
yep. scoop things. And this stuff. one did do better with um, our brown couch upstairs. Uh, the other two kind of like to jam itself under our mm -hmm. ottoman. This one didn't do that at all, yep. uh, which was nice. So it's, it's definitely more aware of its space. One of the things this one does that I was like really blown away by, uh, it somehow it can detect yeah, this is cool. when a spot is dirtier. So like with Popeye's fuzz and things, it would detect it and it would pivot around the spot and then it, it would also stay in one spot and just rotate in the same spot if that makes sense. When it knew there was I don't know if I got great footage of that or not. I honestly can't remember if I caught it on film. Uh, but it would do that until it was like, okay, we got it. Yeah. It's clean. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. I do like that. I think that the runtime of this was a lot longer than the others. Right. It but I would credit that to the fact that it doesn't have a beater bar, which takes up a lot of energy to mm -hmm. make one of those run with a battery. It char It took about three to four hours to charge okay. and it ran for me um, just slightly under two hours. Oh, it okay. Ran. Okay. Um, well, that's a long time. Yeah. For my other ones run maybe in 90 minutes. This one was hitting 110 minutes. Okay. Oh, he's so sad. He wants to play. But this one has a lithium ion battery that's 2,600 milliamps. I like this one. I, I don't think that it has like major, major flaws to the point of not suggesting that I like would recommend it for you guys to buy. This one also had a more pattern. But yeah, like a straighter pattern. Like the other ones just kind of went haphazardly everywhere. Yep. This one seemed to have a more back and forth pattern to it. This also had the edging mode. Um, I mentioned the, the rotating the, and the pivoting. That's the spot cleaning mode. And so I guess I should have said that it when it detects a dirtier area, by itself it automatically goes into that spot cleaning mm -hmm. mode. And I did get a, a shot of I do remember now, I did get a shot of it and you can see that the light on the display shows that spot. it says clean and the spotlight comes on too cool. until it goes off. So that's, I forgot, I completely forgot about that something just now. When the, um, when it's full, I never got a shot of it, but there's a little icon of a trash can on the display lights up. and it will light up and uh, this one's really easy this it's just like a touch button then it opens up the top of the vacuum cleaner and there's just like a little like plastic container yeah like a little bucket cubby thing yeah and you just open it and there's a filter in it you can take the filter out and uh, I like the method get of, all that out and yeah. then dump all the dirt I like that because you don't have to turn the sweeper upside down and do all kinds of crazy stuff it's just all yeah. right there and the last but coolest feature of this vacuum is that this emits its own Wi-Fi signal. Oh yeah. So you can download the app and from the app you can schedule cleaning, but it also has a remote which uh, has disappeared. It's upstairs. It has a remote that does everything, but you can also do everything from the app. I like that. So you can schedule it, That's you can hit cool. clean, but you can connect it to your home's Wi-Fi. So this emits Wi-Fi, you connect it to your home's Wi-Fi, and so it does that. But then the other thing is that this works with the Amazon Echo. Uh, so you can say, like Alexa, Alexa, turn on, I think they named this a Andy, turn on Andy and your vacuum will start. So that's pretty cool. Voice, that's a really neat feature. Voice activated, yeah. We don't have any other vacuums that have that feature at no. all. So I think that justifies the price because it does have that yeah, Wi-Fi. That's really why neat. this one is higher up rather than being more uh, around the same price as the iLife A4, which was about $150. This one's um, at the same price as my A6 vacuum, which that is by far my favorite one so far. But this one, is it does a good job. It's just, um, I think it tries to do too many things. Too many things. Yeah, uh, to be good at all of them. But if you have a house with mostly hardwood I still or I still hard say. floors I think it would be the best for that situation yeah but I think for carpet you need one with like the beater, a, bars. The beater bar you're right because this one doesn't have the bar so it still is going to go around and clean up hardwood even without the water tank on there yeah but like yeah, the, I agree. with carpet you need a beater bar to like pick up the hairs and stuff yep. whereas on hard surfaces you don't need that I agree with that that's that's a good that's a really good assessment of this I was gonna say that I don't like this one, but then I, I'm thinking, well, we have a lot of carpet. Yeah. 
uh, in, in comparison to the other two we've had on the channel. That's what I was going to... Right. No, but you, that was a really good point. Yeah, I think, floors, if, I think if you have hard surfaces, yep. you have uh, an Alexa device, then I think this would probably be a perfect fit for you. Absolutely. But if your house is mainly yeah. carpet and you're not really interested in the Wi-Fi features, especially because it comes with a remote, you can schedule it to run every day, whenever you want, then I would probably pass and I would go look at the iLife A6 or A4 that we've reviewed. Yep. Yep. That's a good, yep. that's, you nailed it right on the head. Really good. Yeah. Thanks, baby. Yeah. Well, we have more drone and truck and airplane and all kinds of RC other things yep. to come to the channel yep. very soon. I know these are always random when we do these kind of like electronic tech RCs. Mm -hmm. I consider it remote control. <laughs> but um, I just think it's really neat and because of our hobby and what we do, I, Nathan and I find it really interesting. Yep. So we think you all, I know most of our viewers are men and most men don't vacuum. <laughs> That's just my general assessment. Nathan does vacuum. But uh, mm -hmm. most men don't vacuum, so surprise your wife with this. this surprise is awesome. the person in yeah. your life, even if you're the wife and your husband does the vacuum. Surprise them with a robot vacuum. They make really them. Cool. They make them a lot cheaper than you think. So check this one out. Go yeah. watch our other videos. We'll have them carded throughout this video and down in the description box for you to check out. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.